that they're paid by a con. And they'll say, oh, 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 oh. The bunny jumps into the wrestling ring to distract the referee. I was also distracted, to be honest. I mean, she's distracting. Ted says, listen, you've been trying to, to, trying to recruit me for two months now. You're screwing up my entire group. My entire group. My entire grape? He's screwing up his grape? I did say that. Why did oh. I say grape? Why did you say grape? Why did I say grape? I don't know. Why not? That reminds me of the Mariners. Oh, my god. The gosh. grapes? Yeah, they, they choked. The Mariners suck so bad they can't even lose right now. Because we think we were in like the 18th inning at the time. Yes. And uh, the first comment, someone just goes, they're in the playoffs, Brian. <laughs> like, whoa, brother. He's the man of the man of the hour, the man with the power, too sweet to be sour. Too sweet to be sour. She did much better than I did. You're having a rough night with grapes and sour. Seems to be like some sort of uh, some sort of issue here. I'm just not good at my job. Why did I do what what he what I did? He says. <laughs> Can we start the show? Do you over? need help tonight? No, we're not starting it over. Are you kidding me? I am a power peacock pumping peacock energy into this building. He actually said that. I broke my back for that He title. called him a silly, naive little goose, and they cut to Chris Jericho, and he says, deadpan, watch your mouth. <laughs> but these guys come out for their big AEW debut. Excalibur's almost like, oh, look, the kingdom. What a pain in the ass that must be, by the way. You gotta carry that chip in your bag everywhere? <laughs> yeah, people bitch about carrying belts around. Remember that huge mm -hmm. fucking chip? You gotta go through the metal detector, and they gotta feel that chip up and down. Excuse me? Rub that wand all over it. Man. Excuse me? You know what I'm talking about. I think I do. What is the best meal for a birthday? Mine is pork chops and or steak. Brother, let me tell you something. There's no one on earth who the best food for them, trumping all other possible foods, is a pork chop. None. Craig. No, I'm not agreeing Craig. with you. People have different tastes, dummy. Oh, this is Sam. Of course he's uh, he's trolling me. I would take one pork chop cooked in season exactly how I like it over any steak. I didn't just say steak. I said any food in the world. Sam, you're telling me there's no food on this planet that you would choose over a pork. If you were on death row and they go, last meal, you're going to go pork chop. No, you're not. Probably a great big old giant ribeye. Yeah, a big old ribeye. With a side rack of baby bags. And a fucking pork chop, I'll bet. I'm not a big fan of pork chops. <laughs> You're an idiot. Define Brianism. Sean and Vinny can jump in as well, but I, I think that you should be the judge tonight, Granny. You've I got think. a white wig on as well. <laughs> Sean's got the big old hammer. Brian. That's what you told me, Vinny. What? What? All chop, no pork. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many days it's been since we talk about pork chops? I, I don't remember life before it. I just share and sits up. I do that every now and then. One, I'm sure he's a nice guy. <laughs> Two, but these people know me a little too well. It's an uncomfortable position to be in, Vinny. Wait till it's your turn. It was my turn. Yes, last oh, one. Oh, that's right. It was, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> Damn it. And they're all very accurate. All right, I'll do my best for this one. <clears throat> Why? <laughs> <laughs> I hate this contest. Uh, Sammy versus Kopi Kingston. Kopi? Kopi Kingston. Suplex on Kopi, punch on side of Kopi's head. C A J I R I. C Tajiri? Whatever. Well, where'd that, you get the C from? I'll just call him J or Z. <laughs> There's no Z anywhere in his name. <laughs> Whatever. Suplex on Z. <laughs> Believe it or not, I had duplex here and I had to change it. Wow. Thank God you caught all those errors. <laughs> yeah, we didn't want an error-filled report. You never saw the end of the streak? No, I never saw that. Wow. I didn't hardly recognize him because he had what I call a Mohican. Undertaker does a crack slam. Brock punches. <laughs> Excuse punches me. Punches and punches Brock. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. <laughs> hard drugs oh, in the ring? Hold on. He did, a, uh, he did a crack slam. You know, it's kind of a shame. He's only 77, have to retire. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's, he's a real victim. <laughs> yeah, he, he he had some problems, Granny. He was he was he had a scandalous, uh, you know. Well, so what? How many guys don't? And it just doesn't seem fair because he owns the company and stock went up when he quit. Yeah, that's really too bad. <laughs> Not if you have stock 
Only a 92-year-old woman would say it's not fair that he has to retire at 76. 77. I'm sorry. He's not any worse than a lot of people. Okay. Anything else? In fact, he's even better. (laughs) Dude. Granny. And I don't mean this to be as derogatory as it's going to sound, but we got some WWE booking going on here in the sense that how many people in this company are unhappy of their partners for cheating? We have Swerve and Keith Lee. Death Triangle. We've got Daniel Garcia and Chris Jericho for That's a while. That's true. That was going so on. So we got at least three. But I didn't notice a sign in the crowd saying, we want women's tag team titles. Can you imagine watching this show and this division and saying, you know what we need here? Is more belts. You don't close the door on him and then stomp on his head. You close the door and go around the other side so you can put him in your move. Yeah. There was, there was a charm to yes, that. Exactly. That I this only happens greatly in appreciated, yes. This William Regal MJF segment is what's going to be remembered about this show in like a decade. This was unbelievably great television. I thought this was one of the best promos that MJF has ever cut. Maybe yes. the best promo he's ever cut in his life. Yes. I, if there's a better one, I'd love to see it. He has said that he's the devil. He said it over and over again. But at the same time, there's very much a tease here that he's going to go babyface. And he is getting big-time babyface reactions. So I, at this point, have no idea what he's going to do. I don't know if he's going to be a babyface. I don't know if he's going to be a heel. I really don't even know the intention behind this promo. But it is a... It was an incredibly, incredibly amazing promo. I don't think it's right to call it a babyface promo, nor do I think it's correct to call it a heel promo. He cut a human being promo. Something happened to him. It was very important. He had an emotional reaction. He explained himself. And when he was done, you thought to yourself, if that happened to me, I might feel this exact same way. Wheeler Yuta is jealous of the attention Brian Danielson has been paying to Daniel Garcia. What seemed to happen was what you see happen in an MMA fight, where someone gets knocked out, and they're out, and then, you know, they wake him up on the stool, and then they're doing their post-fight promo, yep. and then they go to the party afterwards. Right. So that appears to be what happened here. And thankfully, that's all it was, because yes. goddamn, I saw that fucking gif. I was like, oh, man. He also watched NXT 2.0 also. It's not 2.0. They changed that? It's NXT. Delete, delete, delete. The whole Judgment Day is there. These NXT fans are like the most loyal and passionate fans but man, they saw some main roster stars there, and it was that's all they wanted to see. Grayson Waller trying to act, okay? And not just act opposite a fucking doll. He had to act opposite a doll on a video screen in a fucking pre-tape. Booker says, listen, sometimes you know a fight's about to happen. You want to get that first shot in. Somewhere in Chicago, there's a man sipping his cola and nodding slowly. So Andre Chase lists the following Halloween Havoc matches in this order as far as great Halloween Havoc events. Hulk Hogan versus Ric Flair in a cage. Diamond Dallas Page versus Goldberg. Mandy Rose versus an unnamed woman. You realize they built this up on last week's show. They built this up on SmackDown. They build this up on Raw. They finally are here for their payoff in the main event of this show. And they go one fucking minute with a disqualification. A bag of dicks that sucked. Wow. This is not nearly as bad as the NXTs we've been watching over the past year. But as a go-home show, this was ass. This was a bad go-home show. Tiffany Stratton, Brandon, if you want to know why Tiffany Stratton has been gone, check out her Instagram. <laughs> 